Hey, how's it going guys? This new update brought quite a few changes to the meta, and I've been really enjoying testing out the weapons after the balance patch. Before the update, I never really used the anti-material rifle except for a few times where I picked it up from my fallen teammates or as random loot. But now it has become my personal favorite support weapon to use against the automatons after the 30% increase in damage along with the Jar 5 Dominator, which had a massive buff making it one of the best primary weapons in Helldivers 2. And while it may not replace the need for some of the more explosive stratagems, this loadout is just a fun and versatile way to play the game. Main objective near your position. Calling in reinforcements. Calling down a support yeah, fucking stems. How'd you like to taste of freedom? One of the benefits of the Jar 5 is its ability to stagger enemies. Not today! Map, southeast, 100 meters. Oh, C1, you gotta lock you, dude. Supposedly in this update, they were going to make the rescue citizen missions easier by spawning the enemies further away to an echo give us a chance. But that wasn't the case for me and the automatons just decided to rally and spawn right on top of the objective. Thankfully I had the Jar 5 Dominator which came in clutch for dealing with the horde up close. A surprising addition in Helldivers 2 that wasn't mentioned in the patch notes are the new automaton gunships. They can easily catch you off guard if you're not prepared, so I highly recommend taking the recently added Quasar Cannon that has infinite ammo and of course be ready to eat. And by that I mean use the expendable anti-tank support weapon as well. When swapping between these two stratagems, you should have no problem taking out the gunships and facility. Alright, as a bonus, use the EAT to save Helldivers that are trapped under the map. There we go. Thank you for that merciful end. I got the turtle. Before this balance update, the Plasma Scorcher was the best primary weapon in the game by far and was my sole weapon of choice. The Scorcher has amazing range, accuracy, and does a lot of damage and can even penetrate light vehicle armor making it a top tier choice for the automatons. As for the secondary, I've stuck with the machine pistol from the start as it hits hard and comes in handy in tight spots. The Plasma Scorcher's only real drawback is ironically its impressive explosive damage. It's great for taking out Striders in one or two hits or the Rockets on the Devastators, but it's a liability up close and it will take you out at some point, thereby placing the Jar 5 Dominator as the safest bet against the Automatons. When up against the Terminates, the Scorcher is the best long-range primary weapon due to its high explosive damage, and can even be used to take out a Charger, but suffers at close range for that same reason, and is not the ideal choice when being overrun by Swarm of Bugs. The Scorcher is still viable, but with a balance update, there is now a much better option after a buff to a certain shotgun for exterminating the Terminates.
After receiving a nice damage buff, the Breaker Incendiary is now the best primary weapon to use in the fight against the Terminates. The shotgun is a blast to use after the much needed buff and it makes dealing with breaches and swarms a whole lot easier. Apart from not being good at range, the incendiary shotgun struggles against the biospewers and of course the heavier armored chargers and titans. However, this is not a deal breaker and is easily dealt with by using a few stratagems. The Terminates also got a new enemy type in the form of Shriekers that will rain hell from above, and to deal with these I suggest having the Quasar Cannon and the EAT. The one essential weapon to take on terminate missions is the expendable anti-tank. I prefer the EAT over the Quasar Cannon as it comes with two shots that can be fired instantly. The infinite ammo on the Quasar isn't worth the long windup if it's your only option, so if you can, take both. And be sure to aim for the head to take down chargers in one shot to save ammo. One of the best support weapons to deal with the chargers is the flamethrower, and while the developers buffed flame damage from all sources, this does not apply to the actual damage dealt by the flamethrower. Even still, it's a great choice for crowd control, although you will have to rely on grenades to close up bug holes. And while I do recommend using the stronger stratagems like the laser, rail cannon, or 500 kilogram bomb, you can try to take out the bio titans with a flamethrower as a last resort. And I don't always remember to swap out the grenades between factions, but I recommend the impact grenades against the Terminates. The best support weapon to go along with the shotgun against the Terminates is the grenade launcher. It'll make quick work of the bio spewers and any bug breaches, and is also really good for taking down various objective structures. Overall, I think the current meta is in a good place after the balance update that added some welcome variety to the primary weapons, and I'm looking forward to seeing how the game evolves with future updates.